Are you looking to create a flowchart in Notion, but you don't want to cobble together something that's going to take forever using a bunch of connectors and lines, or maybe doing a bullet diagram or just something complicated? Well, good news. You can use Mermaid Markdown, and we're going to incorporate taking this from a drawing all the way into Notion. Now, this may sound complicated, but it's going to go from something like this to something like that very quickly. And if you want to learn to use Mermaid Markdown on your own, you can use that as well. But this is really handy too if you're doodling or you're drawing something out maybe somewhere else. You can just snap a picture and head over to ChatGPT, have it create the code for you, copy, paste, and you're done. So enough of that. Let's get into it after this quick intro. Okay, so I've got a page set up in Notion, and this is, again, what it looks like, the finished product. For a simplistic model, of course, it can be more complex than that. I'll give some resources at the end um, for the docs, as well as, you know, if you want to see some more complex examples. But I want to go through how I did this. So it started out, um, literally, I've got a journal, uh, just sketch this out on it. And so that's how it came, all right? I didn't type any of this actual markdown code. Um, grabbed the phone, took a picture, attached that, uploaded it to ChatGPT, asked it to write the mermaid markdown code is what it is, and then imported it into Notion. So that's how I can quickly go from, you know, maybe sketching out an idea, even if I've crossed stuff out, maybe you've got lines going to different places, uh, things looping around, things would be really complex for you to write out if you didn't have a way to do this quickly. Um, but if you want to get it in, that's one great way to do it. That's a huge time savings because you can natively add this stuff into Notion now and I want to walk through it. I'm not going to recreate the drawing the diagram or anything like that, um, but let's start over on the chat GPT side and go from there. So I'm using a, a GPT model. Um, we're giving it a pretty simple uh, prompt here, create a mermaid markdown flowchart from the attached image. And we've just attached a, screen, a screenshot or the picture I took from the journal from my phone. Um, now, uh, if you haven't uh, used Typing Mind before, this is known as kind of a wrapper for ChatGPT. It's just a handy interface where I can save prompts. Um, you can use different models. Really handy. Uh, you can find out more. The link is down below. Um, it's something I've been using probably for the last six or eight months. Um, and just kind of extends the functionality. You can, of course, just use uh, ChatGPT or whatever model you want. Uh, this is just what I use on a daily basis. Okay, so we've got the uh, prompt and we've got the image. So let's go ahead and we're gonna submit and then we're gonna see uh, what it spits out and then what we need to do from there. So it takes a second, of course, it's analyzing um, the picture. And then here we go. So we've got the code, we can just copy it. And then let's go into Notion. I'm gonna do this right below here. And all you have to start typing is mermaid or code you could do. Um, you could find that. Uh, I'm just gonna do mermaid, hit enter. And it already highlights here really handily the code and you can just paste over that all right and then we get this down there and we can check does this look like this one up here it does and occasionally you can get some different stuff you know depending on how it analyzes it the way it decides to go because there's more than one way to do this uh, and a little bit i don't want to dive into you know make this a tutorial on mermaid markdown you can check out the docs um, but basically what it's doing is it's saying i'm going to call start a and I'm assigning it kind of like a variable and then start is what's actually shown here. And by having the brackets, that makes it a square or just a point. Um, I forget the actual flowchart terminology. Um, but then when you have something like this, it should actually probably be this if it's a decision point, if this or that. Um, so let's scroll up and see what that should be. That should be a curly bracket. So if we come down here, we should say if. So C is if this. So let's change this to curly brackets and see if that works. There we go. So that cleans that up. Um, and then you can just see the naming conventions is how it's done. You could, of course, do this without those uh, the naming convention for very simple ones. Um, but knowing a little bit about how to edit this stuff is handy in case uh, you know the code you get back is slightly wrong or maybe there is some stuff you need to move around. Um, and then you can see too, when you have things pointing at multiple spots, let's see if this is C. And then that's you can see that C is mentioned twice. It is pointing to D or this, and also to E do that, which is correct down here. And that's how that is done. 
couple things to make note of. You don't want to have a space between your variable name and what your uh, block actually is. If you do that, you can see we get an error and it will not, no longer show. Um, so we just back that up and that is fine. If we wanted to change it, for example, we wanted to change win um, for some weird reason to a decision point, then we could have that. So there's more, of course, you could do. Uh, but this is very simple and a very quick way to get up to speed um, with creating a flowchart without having to do a bunch of manual typing and remembering all of the, the context and how you format it. Of course, you may need to review that stuff in the future, so I'll put the link. Um, there should be a link floating around somewhere, and I'll put it down in the description as well to the Mermaid docs on how you can do this. Um, if you want to do some styling, you want to change colors, you want to, you know, make it a sideways diagram instead of a top down, um, lots of options you can do. But this is a really handy way to go from potentially just a brain dump of an idea on paper um, into Notion with a flowchart pretty easily. If you have any questions, comments, uh, leave a comment and I will be happy to get back to you.